Good evening, folks, and welcome from the Nugget Dome. I'm your announcer, announcer, Anthony Kirk, coming by today to talk to you a little bit about our upcoming event. We have the Goon Olympics rolling through town, and Chicken Nugget athletes everywhere are excited to watch, participate, or come out and view in person. Today, I was fortunate enough to catch somebody actually competing at the games as the headline event and they were gracious enough to sit down with ProForge Media and give me an interview. I had a fantastic talk with them and I would like to share that with you guys. Here is a look at Sed and Rolly's interview with me earlier today just outside the training fields where we are holding Goon Olympics XXIVIL VVILIXYZ PDQ. Guys, I want to take a second. Thank you so much for taking the time. I know your training schedules has you really busy. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you able you were able to sit with me and actually work on some questions for stuff. Right. Um, there's there's a lot of unknowns about how you guys train and where you came from, mm -hmm. uh, and of course, no one needs to second guess or talk about the excitement going into these events. But um, I just wanted to ask you guys a couple of a couple of questions and clear up perhaps a couple of myths about your origin stories, because okay. um, yeah, you're giants in the sport. Everyone has a story. Obviously. Everyone likes to claim they met you that one time. Right. Um, but at, at whatever point, I want to put a couple rumors to bed and also ask you guys some real serious questions about um, the training that you guys have gone through to get to this point and how you feel about competing against each other after all this time as a team. Okay. Okay. Um, said you've you've been athletic most of your life and as you get into chicken nugget sports early on in your career for being a, a nugget athlete correct you, you had some really interesting training methods and some of these are probably rumors maybe you can shed some light and paint inside the lines for us as far as where things actually happened and what things are the man the myth the legend okay is it true that you would visit batting cages and use uh, the the batting pitching machines to throw chicken nuggets out of recycled upcycled pokeball toys from Burger King to actually train with the long distance catching of chicken nuggets. Wow! All right. So for that information to be released, honestly, it's true. It's one hundred percent valid. I went out to batting cages almost six hours a day, and I would load those bad boys up with nuggets, and there I'd be, you know. Just waiting on the other side, just ready to catch him with my mouth. That's pretty much it. What gave you the idea to use the, the Burger King Pokeball toys to actually get it to throw the chicken nuggets at full speed? Where did I, that inspiration come from? I needed a challenge. He wanted to catch balls with his mouth. No, Ingenious. no, hold on, hold on. Pause there. That's <laughs> not true. Let's just stop that right there. Proceed with the so, next one. Pitching machines, especially the kind that are found in batting cages, mm -hmm. it routinely can hurl baseballs up into the 110 and 120 miles an hour. Correct. The aerodynamics of a chicken nugget, and nugget sports at large are always at odds with this, mm -hmm. are significantly different than that of a baseball. What's the fastest in training that you ever caught a chicken nugget with your pie hole? <laughs> okay. All right. I would have to say... You know, great being question. that the, the chicken nugget, yes, great question, by the way, uh, the chicken nugget being much more, uh, you know, smaller and aerodynamic, I would have to say it's around like 200 miles per hour. That's amazing. Correct. Did you I ever know. suffer any injuries in training? Not at, at all. Level? Not at all. I'm a legend. Of course. Absolutely indisputed. I meant no offense. No, no, not a problem. I understand. You're, um, I'm the legend. Now, there, there was a time right. where... I mean, every every legend has their legacy, and mm -hmm. yours was in jeopardy. There was a there was a moment in time, where, and and your younger fans might not remember this, but those, those who have been with you from the beginning certainly do. Um, there was a dark time. I'm sure um, we weren't sure if you'd be a, a goon Olympian after that particular gruesome tragic injury at the play place. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. You'd been attempting to ride a food tray like a snowboard down one of the curly slides and then leap a full 15 feet well off the padding that existed um, to slam dunk a nugget into a single serving ranch cup beyond the safety of padding. Um, and, and we all know that didn't go as planned, but could you tell us a little bit about what went wrong? All right, so, you know, being that it is 15 feet out from, you know, the jumping point. Yeah, the end of the slide. Correct. I, I overshot it completely. I, I thought it, it required less of my strength, or, you know, more of my strength, sorry. 
I needed to use less, and so you know, overshooting and completely missing the 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 ranch. It, it was a it was a it was a tragedy, honestly. Just to fly over the table completely. I I think I hit about twenty feet. It, it was ridiculous. I broke my arm. Now, who do you think suffered more damage, you or the the visiting class field trip that you landed on? Honestly, me. I'm the legend. Understood. Great. Uh, undisputed. Um, now, at this time, there was another legend growing up in the sport, and I'm very thankful to have him in the sports studio with us today, uh, Rolly. Um, your training methods were a little less extreme, a little more traditional, but you both have reached the pinnacle of uh, of training. And during your recovery period, Rolly's career got to shine. He became a, a first-time Nuglimbian at that point in all of the Nugget athletics. Um, breaking records that you had said since you guys have come back and forth on that a couple times. Um, no one competes in chicken nugget games quite at the level you guys do. Correct. But there was a time when you were on the mend, and I'm, I'm just I'm really interested. In, as the as the chicken nugget confederation commission of sports changed from individual to team sports, mm -hmm. you guys were ob you were the obvious choice. Correct. You were the you were the King Kong and Godzilla of the day, trying to mm -hmm. go in and do it together. You were just coming in off the mend and rejoining the sport. Mm -hmm. Rolly was at the height of everything he was doing. Rolly, a question for you. How did you feel when you were approached with the opportunity to train and maybe even compete with this fallen legend of the sport? Well, I mean, first off, I felt like... As far as a fallen legend goes, I mean, I felt like if I had to carry this has been, I mean, I would. <laughs> we, we still make it's 100% valid. Bad boys catch him with my mouth. I'm feeling confident. Gas. I don't need any of that. More sauce with my mouth. More spicier, little tangier. Oh, uh, you won't catch me uh, making a mistake, you know, like I did before. And in between the cookies is just gonna be the cream that's flavored like a chicken nugget. It's gonna be groundbreaking. <laughs> 